Hi everybody, the brand new eLab Prime is now available for everyone so we decided to share with you a couple of videos with some tips and tricks. eLab Prime is very intuitive and easy to work with. My name is Peter and I will take you through my case I finished just yesterday. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my screen. I will open eLab Prime up and this is how it looks like. So, very easy, new case, patient name, so I will just say, uh, for example, Sasha Small, don't take it personally, Sasha, <laughs> okay, and here I have dentist, so you can either choose one of your dentist or create a new one, so I will just say, um, big, Mr. Big, save, save, okay, so now the app is asking for the first picture, so we need to upload the ELAP picture, done properly with the ELAP protocol. So this picture is already waiting on the screen and I know it's this picture so I will just click on this picture and I will open it. This will take a couple of seconds, it's all depending on the speed of your internet. Basically server is communicating uh, with the prime server and it's calibrating the main picture. This is really magical because uh, till now we would spend like one, two, three minutes uh, uploading the picture into the Lightroom, calibrating, choosing the correct uh, camera profile and it was really time consuming. But this, I just call it, it's magical because it's so super easy. Okay, so this is the main picture. I can check everything now. I'm happy with the picture. It's all calibrated with camera, camera profile, all nice and clean. Okay, I have a little a little triangle here. Um, invalid shooting parameters. Is ETTL off? Okay, so if you will have a message like this, well, ideally, you should have a nice ELAP Prime logo here. And if you have nice ELAP logo here, all setting was correct and you can, you can go. You don't have to worry about anything. But if I have a message like this, I have to call to my dentist and I will I have to ask him if he's 100% sure ETTL is off. I already spoke to him obviously and uh, I know very well that ETTL off really is. The problem we have here with this uh, uh, with this camera is that we need to uh, put his eyes a little bit higher so the picture is not so dark before the calibration. So I know ETTL is off so we can proceed this picture and obviously next time we need to uh, have ISO ideally maybe 160 and then we will be fine. But we have to work with this picture for now. So what you can do with this picture now? Okay so we need to measure the shade. So I'll go here, measurement, I will just click on the measurement and it's asking me to select the tooth. So you will select the tooth you want to measure. So again, it's very easy and simple. We see the um, software already recognizing this tooth. So I will just click on this tooth and now it's calculating the shade mixture for me. Okay, so again, three, four seconds. Uh, now we have here two sections. So basically ELAP is working is even more clever now because before we had to kind of measure in lots of sections but now ELAP is working in cervical and incisal section. So if you want to you can uncover this area with easy clicks on these little colors here and you can see exactly what actually what you have and what you're trying to copy. But what ELAP Prime is suggesting here is that this area is one dentin and this area will be dentin mixture number two. So first of all we have to choose obviously the thickness of the dentin. We have 
three options now. We have one option which is 0 0.5, we have option uh, 2 which is 1 millimeter of the layering and we have option option 3 which is 1.5 millimeter. Uh, if you look properly on this number here, you can see the mixture is changing. Okay, I will go back to 1 because I, I know I had the 1 millimeter of space for the layering. So this is the offer from the Prime app for the mixture, for my mixture. These are the actual numbers of this blue area and the same with incisal. So again one millimeter for the layering and mixture for my ceramic. So I will just sit now with my ceramic and with my brush and I will layer the first layer. What I have to do now is just wait 15-20 minutes for the furnace and we are done and I can do digital try in. Obviously I finished this crown earlier so now we can we can go and proceed proceed further. So I will I will take a picture of my fired tooth and I can show you what well, what is the next step. So this is the picture number two. Again, this picture is already on my screen, taken from the camera. So, loading the image. And we can do really simple measurements and see where we are. So, calibrating. Again, as I said earlier, it takes probably 10 seconds. But to be honest, it's much easier. Just wait and don't do anything. You can have a cup of tea. Okay. So, this is uh, my fired tooth and I can now do a digital try-in. Again, this is the beauty, this is the beast. You don't really have to do anything. So you just go back to the main picture and you will click on try-in button. So now select try-in image choose an already imported image. So this is the calibrated picture, I just calibrated, so I'll click on it. And now it will automatically cut off the tooth from my, uh, from my model. So I can move with this picture around with this first button. I can rotate the tooth if I need to, or I can delete it. I can also make it bigger and rotate it back maybe a little bit more and rotate it back here if you go with the with your mouse you will have kind of little thing so you can also if you want to extend the area or you can delete it this is also very easy okay well, I'm happy with the position now, so I'll just click finish. And this is my uh, first digital try-in. Well, okay, well, what all this mean? I can do the measurement. So, measurement, select the tooth. So, I will select first the natural tooth. And again, it will do a little calculation. It will calculate the shade. And now it's asking select artificial tooth. So, I will click on the artificial tooth. And this, this is the magic. This is the real magic. So uh, now I can compare these two teeth together. So you can see the cervical delta E is 1.5. Okay, well what does it mean? You can, have a, you can have a look in this little graph here. So delta E in the L section is 1.3. And you can actually see it's a little bit brighter than I want. So I'm in this area now a little bit brighter than I want, 1.3, which is actually really good because I want to be brighter in this in this uh, at this time. Delta A is a little bit greener and delta B is almost fine. Okay, well, let's have a look on the incisal edge. Incisal edge, delta E again. Uh, delta L, again a little bit lighter, delta A 
is uh, 2.4 so I'm really missing lots of red in this area and Delta B 2.7 so it's actually quite yellow so what this is telling me is that in this area I really need to do something because Delta E is 3.9 and that's not correct I'm happy about this about Delta L but I'm not happy about Delta A or Delta B but that's really simple uh, to adjust it what I can do is I can take red stain and I can just paint in this area a little bit of red stain so basically I will add the red into my crown so from here the crown will jump back to the red where I need it regarding Delta B I have too much yellow so I can adjust this easily as well because I will apply a little bit of red the yellow will also drop down or I can choose a little bit of bluish stain which will compensate L as well this is really easy tool to use and to and to help you to understand what you have to do to get better delta delta E okay well I know what I need to do now so let's try it so I will add another image and this is image number three so what I'm doing now basically I will take my brush I will take red stain and blue stain and I will adjust my crown accordingly I will stain it just really a little bit and I will take a picture of it and I will try how it looks like so this is uh, picture number three after this if I will be happy with uh, with my with with my crown I will just put the crown into the furnace just for very short very short program I'm using Emacs Serum in this case so with these stains I will go to the furnace just for something like 690 degrees for one minute just to uh, bake it on the crown but don't over bake the the ceramic so 690 degrees okay so you can see it now here can you see the nice bluish here area and it's a little bit reddish more in this area so I can do try in again and see if I'm closer to the to the final result so I'll go back to the main picture I will click try in and I will select this picture and I will create a digital try in very easy again I will take the tooth I'll make it bigger I can adjust this obviously this depends how much time you you have I can rotate it okay happy finish and now I can see what's the difference in the in the measurement again so I can again I can measure everything and you can measure all all the time you want but you can see even with your eyes this area is much similar to this and this area is much similar to this so I'm completely happy now and I can go and fire the crown and after that I can layer my enamel layer uh, with some effects so I, if I want I can create some kind of cracks into the enamel I can create uh, this white dots I can do whatever you want so let's have a look how the crown looks like after the final final polishing and uh, where we are with the Delta E so calibrating again very easy and quick all done okay so now this is the final moment basically when we will see if we were successful so again this is uh, the crown sitting on the model and I can check what's the Delta E so again I will go back to the original picture 
and now we'll do try in so very easy and simple try in and I will select my last picture and I will do the try in so again I will take the take the tooth I'll make it slightly bigger here it look like it's a little bit needs to be a little bit wider yes okay nice okay maybe a rotation a little bit this way okay and finish so this is the digital try in and now we can measure uh, the crowns so again measurement select tooth so I will click on this tooth first okay and now select artificial tooth so I will click on this okay right so these are the results so the main body main uh, part of the crown is delta E 0 0.7 which I'm very happy with we can see uh, the delta A is a little bit below but delta A and delta B is spot on so 0 0.7 I'm very happy and incisal edge is 1.7 which is still acceptable you can have a look what's going on there again delta L is minus 1.1 .1. Delta A is 0 0.3 and Delta B is 2.4. Okay, well, this could be a little bit less yellow, but I'm still happy with that because, okay, well, you can have a look. Uh, this measurement of the incisal edge, from some reason, uh, the green is actually going up here as well. So I wouldn't be worried too much about, about uh, this measurement and Delta uh, delta E 1.7 because it's still acceptable and I think uh, it will be actually even better in the in the reality so yes yeah, so that's it people I hope you enjoyed my uh, little video for you uh, this crown is being fitted tomorrow so fingers crossed for me and yeah keep keep working hard guys thanks bye